Welcome to Highline Excel 2013, video number 12. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 214, Week 3, click on the link below the video. Hey, last few videos we've been talking about AND criteria and OR criteria, and we saw a bunch of awesome formulas. We also saw some particular functions called D functions and there's very specific circumstances you can use those but when you can use them they're generally much easier than the alternatives here's how you know that you can use D functions like D count and D sum first you have to have a proper data set with field names so in this video we have our example here field names in the first row records in subsequent rows so we have a proper data set second when you're entering criteria you have to have the field name in a cell on the criteria below so last video we did or criteria payment corresponds exactly to a column field name and then we had our or criteria down here now also we saw in the last video cross tabulated tables and when you're copying D functions sometimes it's just not possible to use a D function in general they're single cell formulas now let's look at our example here. We can do AND criteria alone. We can do OR criteria. And even more powerful, you can mix and match AND and OR criteria together. So we'll look at each one of these examples. Now in each one of these circumstances, we have a single calculation in a single cell. So here, here's our AND criteria. We want to count between two dates. And notice that we repeat the field name. So this is a field name, but we're allowed to repeat. And criteria goes on the same row. So because we have, we want to count between these two dates, a lower and upper, we put the comparative upper and the date in the cells on the same row. That is the definition of and criteria. Got to be on the same row. Because it's on the same row, you have to repeat the field names. And then we have that toy and this payment method. All right. And we're going to see how to count, add, average, and even calculate standard deviation. All right. We'll start with counting. So I'm going to type an equal sign and a D. All of the D functions start with D. I'm going to type a C. We have the choice of counting numbers or counting uh, non-empty cells. I'm going to, for every one of these calculations, use the same column, line total. I'm going to use count because that column contains numbers. All right, the database. We have to get our database. Click in the first cell in the field name row. Control shift right arrow, down arrow, control backspace. That's the database, comma, the field. Every single one of these calculations, I'm going to use line total. So I could click in that cell or I could type it out, line total. Or I could actually count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's the seventh column, so I could type a 7. All right, I'm going to use the cell reference right here, and then comma the criteria. Field names at the top, our AND criteria are all on the same row. That will do it. Now, watch this. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to close parentheses, and then I'm going to copy this, because I'm going to use the exact same database field name for knowing which field to calculate upon and criteria for all of the functions I'm just going to change the function when I hit tab 13 so there's 13 transactions between these two dates where there was a toy paid for with Visa now I'm going to add equals DS there's a couple S's, standard deviation of the sample, standard deviation of the population, and sum. So I'm going to do sum and then control V. There we go. Single cell calculation with my AND criteria. Notice if we were doing sum ifs, we'd have one, two, three, four different criteria. So we have to enter four different criteria ranges and the sum range. I like the D sum much better. Doing a single cell calculation, usually the D functions will get it done more quickly. All right, D and then average, tab, control V. So I'm calculating the average for one, two, three, four, and criteria. I want to find the average sale for airplane made with the payment visa between these two dates, 1236. Now standard deviation 
equals ds. This is a sample, so I'm going to use this first one, tab, control V. Now in a statistics class, we would you know, explain that standard deviation is a measure of variation and gives us a numerical measure to gauge whether our average fairly represents all of its data points. But for this class, you don't need to worry about what standard deviation is. Just boom, easy to do. $7.40. Now, the amazing thing about F2, amazing thing about the D standard deviation is there is no function like a sum ifs, count ifs, average ifs. There's no standard deviation ifs. So this one really comes in handy when you have lots of criteria and you want to calculate standard deviation. All right, now let's do our OR criteria. All right, in this example, we want to add given this OR criteria. So I'm going to look through the entire database in the payments column and add all of the transactions that were done with a credit card. So equals D sum database. I'm going to go get my database. Control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow, control backspace, comma. The field I'm going to add upon is line total, so I'm going to put it in double quotes. I'm trying to spell this right, because if I spelled it wrong, that would not work. So I'm going to put it in double quotes. I could either do that, a cell reference, or count whatever column it is in the data set. I'm going to use that text, comma, and the criteria for or criteria, field name, or criteria goes on different rows. All right, tab. So I've added up all of the payments from credit cards. Remember, with or criteria, the, the question is, hey, is this transaction Visa or Discover or MasterCard? If it got a true for any one of those, then it used the number from the line total in the calculation. All right, we're going to add. But this one, we have and and or criteria. And the way it works is you have to put your field names. The OR criteria is here. But notice, I, I had an AND criteria. I said between this date and this date, greater than or equal to 10-1-2011, and less than or equal to 12-25-2011 for airplanes. So the, the criteria on this row are all AND. One, two, three, and. And then we had to repeat this because we wanted the same period and put policemen, right? So this is and. We jump down to the next row. It's all and for this one row, but it's all of this criteria and or all of this criteria and. Now notice if we were typing all that out in a formula, that would get pretty complicated because we have a single cell and we have all of our field names up here. This is going to be a snap equals D sum database. Control shift right arrow, down arrow, control backspace. Our field, since we're adding, is going to be line total. Actually, why don't we put seven here just to show you that can work. And then here's our criteria. I love when doing and and or criteria. That is a lot easier than a formula. Control enter. All right, so D functions. If you have field names in your criteria area, you have a proper data set, and you're not required to copy your formula to lots of different cells, in essence, a single cell calculation, oh, D functions are amazing. Now, in our next video, we'll talk about the same exact calculations, but using the table feature. All right, see you next video.